Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for March 26th, 27th, 28th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is a general reading. Now, you know when I am reading for the weekend, I am using my two Radley Valentine decks. I am using my, uh, my Angel Tarot cards for the main message. I'll pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Now, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job? Just deliver the message. Now, um, remember this weekend we have something going on. Remember, Venus is in Aries right now. It will be conjunct with Aries also, so there's a little bit of a of a, um, you know, um, stronger push with relationships. Venus, there's more of a mission. There's more of a focused, um, almost like maybe even looking at some of the relationships under maybe a little more of a microscope even. Now, we also have then on the 28th, we have the full moon in Libra. That's at, 20, at 6.27 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There will be a, a trine, so, you know, there's a grand trine going on. It's very lucky. It could even be very uh, magical. There could be some strong manifestations happening at that time also. The full moon in Libra will be trining with Saturn in Aquarius, Jupiter in Aquarius, and Mars in Gemini. So we've got all of the, you know, we have... Eight, you know, we have Aquarius, Libra, and we have um, Gemini. So expect, you know, expect, you know, I mean, expect the unexpected. It kind of goes back to that, um, you know, Uranus in Taurus. But this is, this could be some shockers, but this could be very magical. And this could be very um, welcome at this time also. Remember, new moon to full moon as it is getting bigger it's called waxing, and that is, you know, a time for you to request. Full moon to new moon, as it gets smaller, is waning. That is when you release. The full moon, and you can do this like two to three days before, day of, two to three days after. The full moon is when you release, relinquish, and request. Now, I'm always saying, write it down, you know, write it down, put it on the refrigerator, but because of all the air energy, remember to speak it out. Okay? Okay. So, let's begin our readings now. Hello, my Aries, and happy birthday to you. How are you? Now, let's see what we have for my Aries. I feel like you want to push through things. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just... Just maybe because of just what's going on all over the place, but it, it it's like, um, I see you in a major crowd, and I see you pushing and making your way through the crowd. Maybe they're looking around and not necessarily knowing where they want to go, but my Aries, it's like, I feel like, and this could be because of what I just said about Venus in Aries, I feel like you're on a mission. You know, it's kind, it's very much, I see you, you know, with your hand in front of you and you're moving people and you are moving through these people. So, because it's, it's a big crowd around you, but you are doing what you need to do to just to get past them all. And it's kind of like they may feel aimless. They may feel very um, like, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? But you, my Aries, are very, you know, focused, even if you don't know your, where you're journey is ending which we you know we never know that anyway but it's very much i am moving forward through this it there's very determined push it through and move it through type of energy now that will help you in anything that you really want to do this weekend anything you want to do um you know just put it out there have you know have kind of that um you know that visualization and just work towards that push through that because like I said, this is an extremely crowded, I don't know, sidewalk. Uh, it's not even, it's, it's like there's tons of people and you just keep moving them, moving them, moving them. And so let's see what we have here. Three cards are face down, all reversed. First card is 
Nine of water. Well, nine of water, nines have that, let's wrap it up, let's get it done type of energy. Water is our Pisces, it is our Cancer, it's our um, Scorpio, fluid, very emotional. This is the wish card. This is your birthday wish. Again, I like I said, I see this major crowd of people. And it's not just like, you know, like four or five, it's, it's just a big crowd. Like one that, I don't know even where you would see this crowd. And you are just kind of like moving them this way, moving them this way. And you're kind of like, you want to stay in place? I don't. This is where I'm going. And, you know, not quite sure what where where it's going to all let me, you know, where I'm going to be let out at. But I'm not standing, I'm not standing still. Okay. And so, like I said, if there is something you are going for, if there is a goal, a good weekend for you to, you know, and probably even into next week for you to just set your sights on it and get moving with it. So the nine of water is the wish card. Your wish comes true. Concerns fade away, a love of life. And it's funny because I can almost hear you saying to the people that are just, they're just you know, they're mulling around. They're just kind of like, oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Yeah. You're like, you know, dude, dudes, dudes, dudettes, whoever you are, you do whatever you're doing. I'm getting out of here. I'm moving forward. Anyway, next card, king of fire. Now, this is your energy, okay? Remember, king's underlying energy is air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. What do we have going on this weekend? We have that full moon, okay? And we have that, you know, that grand trine going on. So kings also step up. Kings are at the top of their power, at the top of the ruling. Fire energy is your energy. It is also Leo and Sagittarius. It's passionate, burning, very determined. Again, this goes along with what I'm seeing. You path, you know, it's kind it's like, don't hold me back. You know, and I know I'm gonna keep I, I, I can't I don't know that I'm expressing it. I, I really it, it's it's kind you know, it's just you you know, like you you know, you're not moving out of my way. I'm gently going to push you out. You're, there's no real um force here. There's no force. It's not like you're bulldozing your way through because you're really just kind of like and you're making your path, you're making your way. This is about, um, you know, this is about total, um, you know, total, I don't know, power owning it. This is seeing, again, this is seeing bigger than what these people are seeing. This is not just standing still in this crowd. This is looking at this really big picture, looking at where it is I want to go to. So if, if whatever it is, wherever it is, my Aries, you want to get to, this is the weekend for you to um, put those put those dreams into uh, motion, put those dreams into action. Anyway, motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone, create it. Now, again, take in charge, take in charge. And I don't, like I said, I don't see you... Um, leading or taking charge of the people that you're mulling through or that they're mulling around and you're just moving forward. I just think you're taking charge of your life, your situation. Next card here, the emperor. Okay, Archangel Michael. Michael is the warrior and also the protector. Strong Archangel energy here. Four has stability, Four has also organizational energy, okay? So stability like the four legs of a table, you know, unless the table's a little rocky, it's still, you know, even if it is a little rocky, it's there's still stability there. But organizational, um, you know, this is getting things, you know, um, what is it? What is it that you've been wanting? You know, again, my Aries, I know that this is, it's still, this is the time for you to push through um, and you to just, you know, make, Move these other people out of your way gently, kindly, um, and if they don't move, you're just gonna you're just gonna you know kind of move them for you anyway. Archangel Michael, organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. Again, I don't really feel leadership. Uh, I know it says leadership. I don't feel like you're doing. The only thing you're doing with these people is moving them out of your way. They're just kind of clueless. They're aimless. They're just, um, 
you know, the energy around them, you know, they, they, they almost, they're so, they're in such a crowd and yet they don't even see each other. Okay. So let's see what we have here now. We got two, well, we got a couple of cards that just flipped out. So, and we have an Archangel energy here, but I don't know what it is yet. So we have the six of Raphael. Sixes have a, you know, is the number of man. Raphael is again, water energy. There's some reflection here. There's some, you know, looking back a little bit, looking at childhood a little bit, possibly reclaiming, reclaiming and putting into um, practice or focus, 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 some of those dreams that you've had possibly when you were a child or even as recent as, you know, six months, six to 12 months ago. Because this is kind of saying, um, you know, stepping in, stepping in, um, this is reclaiming a lot of those dreams. And again, I feel you going after it. Good energy to do that. So what is that for? Um, you know, I generally go more with the work relationship, career relationship. This could also be a relationship that's outside of the normal structure, okay? Because the people that you're moving past and moving through, they're satisfied with being where they're at. You are not. You're, this is you moving, you know. So this could be a job career pathway that does not necessarily meet the norms, okay? Is not necessarily traditional. So let's see what the next one is. Oh, okay, this one is reversed. And here we have Archangel Jophiel. Jophiel, okay, so we have a 15. 15, 5, 5, 5 has some change energy to it. 1 or a 10 plus a 5, again, change energy, new beginning, transition. Add the 1 and 5, 6, 6, so we have a 6, 6. That's the number of man. It's what you yourself can accomplish, okay? So there is some things that, um, you know, you have, you know, decision. What is your decision? Where are you going to go with it? But again, this is letting go and moving forward. And I feel like it's, again, you know, again, it's not necessarily traditional. People may not necessarily understand it, but you understand it, Aries. Anyway, release yourself from that which holds you back, which is a wonderful time with the full moon. A need to detox to detox unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence and the weird thing is like i said the the people they're they're just kind of like staying in their own little circle as they just mull around they're not moving they're not doing anything you're the one that's just gently pushing them out of your way or moving them out of your way let's put it that way okay so let's see